Thank you, Okay, great. Um, anyway, let's start. You know, it's you have equal billing up here with. Is, have you seen the poster yet? Wow. Yeah, I did. Yeah. It's crazy. It's kind of fun. It, well, that's rare in a movie that the the music has play has to play so, other than a musical, of course. Yeah. Plays such an important part. It's, <laughs> that's all right. No, all right. It plays such an important part of a character because yeah. George doesn't speak, obviously. Yeah, it was a big challenge, I think, with this film. They based, you know, they knew that their main character can't speak, so they had to. Get, I, I don't know if they occurred to him in the very beginning. It seems like at first they asked me to write a song or two that were in really important parts of the movie. And then as they saw it start to work and help to kind of give that character a little spirit and uh, help define his character, I think then they started saying, let's put it here and here and here. And it became a bigger part of the film. And then I told him I wouldn't do it unless I got equal billing. No, I just kidding. I had no idea. That was, when I saw that, I was like, wow, I can't <laughs> believe it, you know, on the poster. That's a big deal. Yeah, The uh, well, and there's also... The soundtrack, I haven't listened to the whole thing. I saw it, the movie itself, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, I mean, it is important, I guess, for him to have the, the voice. I mean, how else are you going to do it other than music? I mean, yeah. it, and in, in the books, it's a book. Yeah. So you kind of start from scratch, basically. Yeah, and they can explain what's going on. Well, it becomes kind of that non diegetic, uh, the narrator in a way. My voice becomes his thoughts. You know, they kind of um, they ex help explain. They're, they're kind of just feelings more more than really being factual or anything like that, the songs, but I think they help to explain for the kids what's going on in his mind and the feelings he's having. I'm sure everyone's asking you, do you was Curious George something that you remember in your childhood or was it an important part or anything? Yeah, no, yeah. definitely a big deal. It was kind of Dr. Seuss and Curious George and uh, a couple of others, Richard Scarry, a couple of the authors I got to be read to a lot. And also, they keep to hit the traditional animation for Curious George, like in the book. I know they, they could have gone another route, CGI, that computer graphic. Yeah, right. But um, it conjures up those memories when you're watching it. Yeah, no, I think that was... Uh, I think the people that are holding on to the rights of the books and all that, I think they were real careful in a good way to make sure... I think that was part of the deal. They had to do it in this style and had to use these colors and couldn't stray too far from the original, which was nice. How long were you on board? Um, when did you come on board? Was it... It was over a year ago. It seemed like uh, it's pretty. It was a while back because I just got a couple of drawings of Curious George in the beginning, and a description, screenplay kind of a thing. And then they kind of gave me these animatics, just sketches that would be there five seconds, the next one five seconds, and then it was slowly evolved and actually being animated. Did you start going through the books and try to get into that? See what he would. Uh, you know, I did. Yeah, and it's funny when you start as a kid, you just remember him being these stories, and then when you start going through again as an adult, there's a couple of funny things in there about him smoking a pipe at one point and uh, going to the doctor and sniffing ether by accident and getting all loopy. I was kind of hoping they're going to put like one of those in the movie subtly, but they didn't. Maybe that's for another. One. Well, the balloons I remember. I mean, are there images yeah, you remember? Balloons, yeah, the balloons. I remember like the uh, folding up the newspaper and putting them down the stream. Him getting that was his first job. That was Curious George gets a job. And it's a paper deliverer. Uh, a couple others, yeah. Well, they're saving some for more movies, maybe. Hey, there you go. That's <laughs> right. We can wrap. Anyway, right. Congratulations. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you.